I'd like, if I may, to speak for a few moments about three sources for our understanding of this day and of its importance. Those three are the Catechism of the Catholic Church, Pope Leo XIII, and my grandmother. The Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 478, tells us about the Sacred Heart. Jesus knew and loved us each and all during his life. His agony and his passion gave himself up for each of us. The Son of God loved me and gave himself for me. He has loved us all with a human heart. For this reason, the sacred heart of Jesus, pierced by our sins and for our salvation, is quite rightly considered the chief sign and symbol of that love with which the divine Redeemer continually, continually loves the Eternal Father and all human beings without exception. A powerful words and words which are worth reflecting on during this day. Paragraph 478 of the Catechism. This day was established as a feast day, as I referred to at the beginning of Mass, on the 25th of May, 1899, in an encyclical letter of Pope Leo XIII. And in that letter, he explained his thinking and his hope. And since there is, in the Sacred Heart, a symbol and a sensible image of the infinite love of Jesus Christ, which moves us to love one another. Therefore, it is fit and proper that we should consecrate ourselves to his most sacred heart, an act which is nothing less than an offering and a binding of oneself to Jesus Christ, seeing that whatever honour, veneration and love is given to this divine heart is really and truly given to Christ himself. For these reasons, we urge and exalt all who know and love this divine heart willingly to undertake this act of piety. And it is our earnest desire that all should make it on the same day, so that the aspirations of so many thousands who are performing this act of consecration may be born to the temple of heaven on the same day. But shall we allow to slip from our remembrance those innumerable others upon whom the light of Christian truth has not yet shined. We hold the place of him who came to save that which was lost and to shed his blood for the salvation of the whole human race. So on this day, we're invited not just to reflect on the meaning of the Sacred Heart, but to consecrate ourselves, to commit ourselves to it, in response to that call uh, of Pope Leo XIII, in response, more importantly, to the love of God which he has shown us through his Son. Which brings me to my grandmother. That Gospel tells us, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. The Catechism uh, the encyclical may reveal to the learned and the clever, but as a mere child, it was my grandmother who helped me to, to understand, to come into a relationship uh, with that love of God. She didn't sit me down to explain the theology of the Sacred Heart or the visions of St. Margaret Mary Alicott or the lobbying of the faithful for this feast to be observed or any of the other facts that you can look up uh, in the various texts. She simply had displayed on her wall of her house the image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, an image which was to be found in many Catholic homes at the time. As a child, it was an image that I saw often. I came to associate that love of God is depicted in the picture with the faith and love of my grandmother. It seems a great shame 
that such devotions, such pictures, such images are fading in our homes because they can have perhaps a more powerful impact than we realise. Perhaps we should revisit it, the place that they occupy in our lives. I'm not suggesting that they're great works of art. In truth, many of them aren't. Maybe we need uh, an artist uh, to, to create a new image. But they leave an impression and they communicate an essential message. They communicate the message of the Catechism. The Son of God loved me and gave himself for me. He has loved us all with a human heart. They communicate the message which Pope Leo wished the world to hear, that there is in the Sacred Heart a symbol and a sensible image of the infinite love of Jesus Christ which moves us to love one another. That command to love God and to love one another is summed up in the Sacred Heart in that simple, memorable image.